working as a woman in the 1970s, a woman with a, with a career was very difficult. You know, the division and the people that I worked with were mainly male. And I would go into committee meetings and inevitably they would call in a secretary and the secretary would always bring the coffee and put it in front of me to pour. No one else would ever get the coffee to pour. Secondly, in these meetings, they would purposely try to embarrass me by telling really rude and raw jokes, hoping that I would get rid or make some kind of a statement. I, I, you, I just put up with it because there was really no other choice. They were paying me less because I was a woman and they could get away with it. So when this happened, I went into my manager and I said, I want equal pay for equal work. And he stood there in front of me and he looked at me and he said, F off, Rose. And I looked at him and I said, I've been to the Department of Labor and I know that I can lay a charge against you. And he said, and if you do, I will fire you. And I said, and I will go back to the Department of Labor and they will make you take me back. He said, you're right, they will. And I will make your life so miserable that you will have be very sorry that you accepted to come back to our company. Well, that didn't last very long. And it so happens that he was fired the week following after we had the conversation. Now, I went up to my next boss and I should tell you that this boss I had an issue with because if I had a bow on the back of my, my, my blouse, he would come and undo it and, and tug at it. Um, today, it's totally unacceptable for a boss to be doing those things. And he did that to me on an ongoing basis. But again, you must remember I was the only woman in a whole division of men. The manager that at the end, he asked me as I was sitting at my desk uh, if I had slept with one of the buyers. He took me totally by surprise. And I just looked at him and I said, if you have to ask me that question, then you don't deserve for me to work for you. I'm resigning. And that was it. I never looked back. I was a housewife. I was a teacher. Then I hired and trained demonstrators, and then I went into sales. And from the sales, I went into my own business. And from my own business, I employed 32 people. I was responsible every day for 32 families. That was a huge responsibility. And with those 32 people, I also was responsible for growing all these companies. One of the conferences I went to was down in Chicago, and they had what I will call a man's evening. And as you went in, they would give you a cigar and a drink, and then you would network and there was food in the middle. So I played the game. I took my cigar and I took my drink. I lit my cigar and my drink, and I wandered and I networked throughout the whole room. And one man came up to me and said, you're my kind of woman. <laughs> I laughed and I thought, wow, I've done it. I made it into the men's club.